So, uh, a little anchor practice here. I'm going back to a, my what I started with a webbing anchor. Yeah, webbing, uh, water knot up here. Might want to back that up. But uh, here we go. Some anchor bolts here. I have these old beaners for using with pulleys, which, uh, oh well, good enough. Click one side in, run the length down. Click the other side in, over here. If this is going across the top here, you've probably tied the American Death Triangle, which is where I usually start tying. Which would just, you probably won't die, you just don't have any redundancy in your system in case one side blows out. You come down here, kind of equalize things best you can. I'm not building a piano here, it's just practice. Grab it. Depending on how much uh, leftover you have, to either tie an overhand or figure eight. Get rid of some of this. Oopsie. I could be a thing of beauty, but oh well. Try your master point down here. Locking beaner. Uh, my favorite anchor is a quad. It's bomber. But uh, I'm just repelling and self-rescue. I'm not taking any big whippers, so I'm going back to something lightweight. So here's your master point. There you go. Hope you can see this. So in case, for whatever reason, one side blew out, you have redundancy in the system. See that? You won't be falling to your death, hopefully. the other side blew up or even your uh, maybe even your water knot came untied God forbid still have redundancy there so that's my uh, gonna be my uh, anchor that I'm going back to using here so just no practice here I'm no expert uh, you do things your way so that's that, uh, child.